Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial of mine. Today I'm going to show you how to stream to Twitch.tv using OBS which is also known as Open Broadcaster Software. So first of all what you're going to want to do is go to Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or whatever you use Firefox and type in OBS click, click the first link and you're simply just going to want to get OBS download for Windows 7 and 8 if you've got Linux or anything else click those just download it install it and then once that is done all you have to do is open it up and you should see this obviously I've got my setup already here but there would be nothing here and first of all what you're gonna wanna do is go onto your settings and simply create a profile so this is my settings profile called streaming it's what I use to stream to twitch I also have a recording one to record to my local hard drive to do normal recordings but for streaming, this is what we're going to focus on today. So first of all, you're going to want to go to encoding. This is where you're going to want to know what your upload speed is. If you have not got 5 five megabits per second upload, eh, you're going to find it hard to stream. Because you need at least 10 upload, I'm going to say. No, you need at least 5 upload. But if you want to stream really good, I recommend 10 upload. Uh, if you've got 10, you can probably set this to 3,500 because that's the max of what Twitch allows. But if you haven't got five, if you've got five or less than five, I would recommend about 2,000 uh, bitrate. Also, make sure you've got CBR uh, tick. That is constant bitrate. It's what you have to use to stream to Twitch. It's what Twitch likes. And just make sure you've got all these settings on your OBS. Just everything I go through. Make sure yours is about the same or what you want it to be so just make sure everything's like this and the second option is the broadcast settings right you're gonna want to make sure your mode is on live stream your, uh, your streaming service is twitch make sure it's twitch and none of them and then you're gonna want to find the closest server to you mine's london and then you're gonna want to find your play path or stream key and to do this you're going to want to go back onto your browser, whatever it is, Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, go to Twitch, make sure you signed in, go to Dashboard, and then click on Stream Key. Once this loads, show key, copy it, and paste it in here. Make sure no one sees your Stream Key. If they do, reset it, but if they know your Stream Key, they can basically uh, stream to your Twitch channel and you don't really want that so make sure nobody knows it and if they do simply reset it because there's a reset button there but yeah copy oh hang on <laughs> copy and paste that over to here and also make sure everything's roughly the same here uh, this doesn't really matter down there right video uh, video adapter choose what your graphics card is I haven't got one so it's got to be Intel HD graphics <laughs> um, choose what your monitor resolution is this isn't my monitor resolution Simp mine is my monitor resolution is 1080 by 920 but I have it as 7 720 because I stream in 720p so it's a lot easier when you're scaling windows and stuff it's 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 a lot simple I'll try and show you after um resolution downscale I'm streaming 720 and FPS is 30 so make sure you have that or 1080 if your monitor is 1080 and you're going to stream 1080 if you have a beast PC and a good processor. Audio, make sure everything works properly. I have to have my mic audio boost up to free because my mic's kind of quiet. I'm, I'm not too sure why. But make sure everything works. You're going to have to do some uh, tests, loads of uh, test streams to make sure you've got it all perfect. It's what I've done anyway. Choose your hotkeys. Mine's obviously uh, the number the uh, addition key, the plus key on the number pad I click that to start the stream and I click it again to end the stream simple 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 and um, the last tab which really matters is this one is the advanced tab advanced tab there we go uh, I wouldn't really touch anything here except for the process priority class it is normally set to normal I think I've got it to above normal just because then the processor focuses a bit more on OBS and when it's streaming just to get those like just to make it run a bit smoother uh, if you have an i7 or beast i7 6 core whatever you could probably change it down to faster but I'd never go any lower if you got uh, if you just got a normal process like i3 i5 just leave it very fast also choose your encoding profile to main because twitch just prefers main I don't know why <laughs> 
and yeah that should all be done like that and once that's all done you should be ready to stream everything should be set up and now you're going to have to uh, select scenes and sources so for instance you, you add a scene this one could be minecraft and then you'll uh, you'll add a game capture and obviously if minecraft is up i'll simply show you once minecraft uh, loads up if it does a bit quicker <laughs> come on minecraft come on come on come on come on minecraft come on come on come on minecraft come on come on minecraft oh everything's oh and gone so just for oh god i don't know what's going on so game capture and i can choose minecraft 1.8 like that and if you just enable the view and preview the stream, you can see I've got Minecraft there. Obviously, if I have Sizer open, a Sizer is a really good program because you can scale windows to whatever size you want. So I can scale the window to 720p, which is always awesome. And then that is 720p because my I set my monitor resolution to 720, so it simply fills the window perfect. If this was 1080, then it would only be the middle of it, and then you have to upscale it, which is just effort because it doesn't do the whole thing. It only does. It's hard, but you'll, you'll, if you do it, you'll understand what I'm on about. But anyway, so add add your game capture. You can add images. You can add text. You can add your monitor. Um, if you want to know how to do a follow alert, click the annotation. And also, I've got a donation alert tutorial as well. Click that annotation on the other side of the screen or whatever is on the screen. <laughs> And everything should be ready to go, I guess. Everything should be set and ready to stream. You should all be good. And yes, you like I've got I've got a start streams page here with a text, window capture and an image. I've got my micro stream where I'd have my game capture and my overlay and a follow alert and stuff like that. And then my ending screen, which is all done like that. So uh if this tutorial did help you out and everything does work, leave a like on it and share it and if your friends are wanting to stream and they don't know how, show them this video, it should help out. If uh, your stream isn't working or it's not working well, put it in the comments and I'll try and get around to you. If I know how to fix your problem, I will try. And yeah, I'll see you in the next tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching.